Hey everyone and welcome back to Farm Girl in Progress. I am Nadine. In the last garden-ish video that I posted, you guys saw me spray painting the rebar for my garden beds. Well, the rebar is ready to go, so what I'm going to be doing today is squaring off my garden beds and securing them with the rebar. That way when I fill them with dirt, the really thin roofing panels that I use for sides doesn't get bent outward. So the rebar is going to be the main outside support for my garden beds. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, here's my rebar. I spray painted, I don't know, about two thirds of it. This part is going in the ground and this part is going up against the garden beds. I spray painted it because I didn't want it to turn into this next to my um, sheet metal or ga the galvanized roofing panels. I didn't want it to become rusty like this. So I spray paint it with some Rust-Oleum. There are a few spots on some of these that will need um, touched up. Like uh, this one here has some spots here that just need touched up. So I'll do that as I go through them. But uh, they're, for the most part, they're dry and they're ready to go. So Let's get to it. Alrighty guys. So for this you're gonna need a mallet or a sledgehammer or just a hammer in general. And you're gonna put three of these on each long side and then one on each short side. And I'm gonna measure from the fence line to the garden bed and in between and make sure they're where I want them to be and then I'm going to secure them up and uh, tighten them up a little bit with the rebar supports. So let's go ahead and get started.
everybody. It is day two of me putting rebar in for the garden beds. It got late and started raining and I had to go to work yesterday so we're gonna be finishing it up today. So I got my hammer, my gloves, and we're heading out to the garden now. Alrighty guys, the garden beds are officially finished and ready to be filled. So the next thing that I need to do before I put soil down is I want to put a layer of gravel so that the garden boxes can drain properly. My soil is real, real clay based here so I want to make sure that the boxes can drain properly. Um, but yeah. The garden boxes are ready for planting. And I also have to build a 4x4 four four box here and one for over there as well. Outside of that, we're ready to fill. So that wraps up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to grow where you're planted.